What's up jumpers? Dave Hunt with Crossrope. I'm here to bring you another tutorial on a little bit more of a challenging skill, double under crosses. For double under crosses, there's a couple reasons why these are worth learning once you first feel comfortable with double unders and with arm crosses. Uh, the first one is that it is a very high intensity exercise. So not only are you combining the explosive bounding of a double under, but you also have rapid upper body movement. So you're getting shoulder and chest activation as well. The second reason is that it's just really cool. It's a lot of fun and satisfying to perform this skill. Um, makes you look like you're definitely in the realm of being a jump rope ninja. And so this is really gonna help you develop a lot of confidence in your jumping, make your workouts more fun, and um, you know, it's just a really, really effective jump rope skill to use in a variety of ways. If you have not yet had a chance, please check out our thriving jump rope fitness community. We have well over 20,000 people now that have joined and you can sign up below for free to take part in a 30-day jump rope fitness challenge. Second link below will let you check out our ropes. So let's get started on this tutorial. Like I mentioned earlier, before you go ahead and try to tackle this skill, make sure that you feel comfortable and proficient with two separate skills, the double under and the arm cross. Uh, we'll link those below as well in case you haven't had a chance to take a look because I did previous tutorials, but I'll do a real quick recap. Remember with the double under, you're gonna have good basic jump technique and then on your explosive bound, you're gonna do two rapid rotations of the rope. So remember the upper body technique is staying the same, high bound, rapid wrist rotation. For the arm cross, you wanna make sure that you're getting full extension so that you're creating an arc on the bottom of the rope that is wide enough to pass through your feet. And you wanna ensure that the, your hands are kept low so that the arm doesn't come up and catch your feet. So when you are jumping, cross, keep your arms low. Again, I've done an in-depth tutorial, so check that out. All right, now time to put them together. And there are two ways that you can accomplish a double under cross. The first one is with your arms to the outside on that first rotation, and then cross your arms on the second rotation. The second one is crossing your arms on that first rotation and uncrossing on the second rotation. So the first version looks like this. This is gonna be uncrossed and then crossed on the second rotation. So warm up with a couple double unders, uncrossed on the first rotation, rapidly cross on the second one. The second version, again, I'll do a couple double unders and then I'll do cross, uncross. Now there's not a right or a wrong way to do it. It is a good exercise, a good skill either way. I just want you to be aware of those two options because when you are trying to learn this skill, you might find one to be easier than the other one and that'll build your confidence as you eventually try to learn both. And ultimately try to learn both with different arms crossing over top. So we always wanna to try to learn things uh, I guess I'd say symmetrically. So if you're doing one version with the arm, left arm on top, you'll do the second version with the right arm on top. In revisiting this skill again, there is not a slow motion way to do it. So I would recommend using a rope with a little bit of weight so that you can get the feedback on it, but you don't want it to be too heavy because it's a very intensive exercise. And if you have a rope that's too heavy, you just may not, might not have enough bound height 
to quickly rotate the rope fast enough to have time for that cross. So what I want you to do on practicing is, again, get into a high bounding rhythm with your regular double unders. And for me at least, it was easiest to learn this skill by doing the cross on the second jump at first. So that's what we'll focus on here. I'm gonna do three progressively higher bounding double unders. And on the fourth one, after that first one, I'm just gonna cross my arms as wide as I can. On doing this, when you first learn, it is okay to have a little bit of a piking action or pick up your legs a little bit because that second cross, when you're first learning, can be difficult to remember to keep your hands low and get full extension. So it's okay if you feel like you need to crouch into it a little bit just to get enough clearance. And then as you find, as, as you get more comfortable and proficient, you'll find that you don't need to crouch or pull up your legs as much. But don't worry too much about having that perfectly tall double under posture and technique. Even, even really advanced jumpers, I've seen them kind of do a little bit of a pull up with their legs or piking depending on the length of the rope that they're using. So you've accomplished your first one. Same as I teach the other skills, just build on that with a progression and think about what the progression is going to be first. So three regular double unders. On the fourth one, we're going to keep that high bound, go under and then cross, and then go right into another explosive jump, under, cross. Two jumps. Build on that. Again, once you get into the rhythm, if you're comfortable with that high bound and keeping your hands low on the arm cross, you can start to build on it, increase the speed, and get comfortable. So then you can get to a point of stringing them together. Once you feel comfortable stringing them together, go ahead and try the version where now you're doing a single jump, crossing and then uncrossing. That's one jump. It does not have to look pretty when you first start learning the skill. Two jumps. So by this point in time, you get the point. There's two different ways to do them. You want to ensure that you are comfortable with the proper technique for regular double unders and arm crosses before you take this on or else it will be a very frustrating and painful skill from all the rope whips that you get. Give this a try. I hope that it was helpful. You can hear I'm already winded after doing just a couple, so it's a very intense exercise, but well worth learning, and it'll make your jump rope workouts even more fun. Yeah.